Righto guys, it's competition time. So what I'm going to do is give away a fire pit and a $100 BCF gift voucher. All you need to do is comment any one of my videos, leave a like, and also got to be subscribed to my channel. So what I'm going to do is want to hit 300 subscribers, that's when the competition is going to be done. So get your entries in guys, just comment on any one of my videos, give it a like, make sure you subscribe, and that's it. That's all you need to do. And it's, again, while this COVID stuff is happening, I'm only going to do people in Australia. Just shipping will be a nightmare to post to anyone in the world, but just Australia guys. And it doesn't matter what part of Australia you're in, I'll get it there and I'll get it to you guys if you win. So again, all you have to do, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. That's it. Now, on with the new episode. G'day guys, welcome back to another Days Off Builds. Today's a pretty exciting day. I'm heading down to get my new, well no, I guess it's not a new bull bar, get my bull bar back. It has been blasted, it's been painted, and it's been raptor coated. As well as, I've finished my side steps. They're gonna get put on today as well. <sighs> Dreams come true, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just pretty excited, eh? They, they came out so, so good. And today's the day I fit it. And I'm super excited. Getting one of my mates today to help me fit it. And yeah, this is gonna be a great day. I can't wait. I'm gonna have to wash my car afterwards because new bull bar, dirty car, doesn't work. All right, check back in later, guys. got the bull bar fitted. Um, now it's the unpainly task of wiring all my lights up. It's already started, but I've got new indicators to put in here. Um, I've got my fog lights slash light bar all gonna be wired in. Gotta put my aerial back on. Gotta put my spotties back on, all that sort of jazz, so it's gonna be a good couple of hours. All right, come along. Let's get into it. So there is one thing, I will be putting heat shrink on everything, just to make it more, less water get in. So, it's just gonna be an individual thing. I've got 10 indicators to wire up all, all through here. Let's get to it. Pretty cramped under here, and I'm trying to show you is what I'm doing. But I've got them there. They're like triple insulated. It's a little bit of an overkill, but these lights are really hard to come by, and um, try and give them prolonged life as much as I can. They take like two months to get here from because of COVID and that. So I've already ordered another set just as like a backup. And I've got like maybe six of these in a backup. They're just a little um little amber watertight I guess indicator light. So they don't actually sell them in Australia. I don't know why, because it'd be awesome if they did. But so I'm just triple heat shrinking them to give them the best chance they can of surviving our conditions. <laughs> Righto, I'll keep going. Um, I'll do all these and then I'll wire them all up and they'll go be the new indicators. I've already got more cabling here for um, my new fog lights and they'll be for the indicates and parkers 
and then that'll get all wired in and then I've got to wire the winch and just have to mount the aerial again and put in the spotties <sighs> it's gonna be a good couple of hours so I definitely consider myself a bit of a 12 volt nerd um, I don't know much about sensors and stuff like that but I do quite enjoy wiring up new lights and figuring out all the cool stuff about 12 volt <laughs> it's a bit of a um, head scratcher sometimes but I don't mind it it's a bit of fun beats boiler work beats boiler making I'll tell you that much for free and um, yeah I'm still wiring these up here on this side and then strip them all back heat shrink everything but we could, I use this heat shrink that's got a little bit of a glue inside of it so it acts like a bit of a sealant as well which is always good um, <laughs> this is going to take forever guys I'm not going to bore you with everything that I'm doing but it just takes time that's all it is that oh guys finished it finished the bull bar revamp Right, our girl has finally finished the bull bar. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, wrapped coat came up pretty sweet. Side steps look mint, and everything else looks and f really worked. So I'm pretty happy with it. Everything's wired to uh, PDB, which is a power distribution box. So everything runs into one area, I guess. Everything's fused, relayed, everything like that. And I just have one set of switches that go into the cab. So what I've got is these little uh, indicator lights, they're really, really good. They work really well. But only downside of them is that any tiny bit of water gets in, she gets right in. I haven't figured out how to seal them yet, but they're like $2 a piece, so I'll just run them until I change my mind. Um, these I really, really love. They've got my Parker lights on them. They've got little angel eyes on them, and also they're uh, fog light as well. So I uh, changed the headlight globes to calibrate. I think you get them from Super Cheap, but they're the halogen white daylight white I think that's what they're called which they are really good I don't have any complaints I don't really do too much nighttime driving so um, I tend not to do that that's just my personal preference the old Kings 9 inch spotties there on there and I've got a 22 or is it a 32 inch light bar underneath um, two little rock lights on the side either side of the car they're just to point out so I can see from the car um, just what's on the corner panel there. Uh, I've got the 42 inch light bar on top which is pretty good but I think I need to move the whole roof rack forward just that little bit just um, get a little bit of reflection off the paint itself so that's it for this one guys this is um, a project well worth the time that I put in and I'm pretty happy with it, it completely changed the car same with the side steps really happy with them haven't actually scratched them yet on the tracks but um, I'm sure that's going to come very soon anyway uh that's about it guys that's a wrap for this episode now i do have my next days off builds which will be my red arc manager 30 that i'm going to install but i'm not trying to put it off it's just a really big job i pretty much have to pull everything out of the back um put the new lithium battery in red arc manager 30 and rewire the switching which 12 volt it takes a long time there's no doubt about it um, plus when you want to do a good job, you don't want to have a fire somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's about it guys for this. Uh, I'm really happy with this and I, and I hope you guys are enjoying these little days off build videos. Uh, there's definitely more to come. There's definitely more that I'm planning to do to this rig and I hope you guys stick with me through the build. Also too, again, shout out to Campus Queensland. Also, shout out to North Storm Bags. I really, really like you guys and I appreciate the bag you sent me. and. Um, I really I actually bought it, so don't think that I'm sponsored, but I just really, uh, really, really like the bag and it works really well. Anyway, I'll do a review on that in another video. But anyway, guys, like and subscribe.
days off builds. It's a pretty good bull bar. I'm actually quite happy with it. But anyway, guys, you know the deal. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.